Yes, it's Pidia. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another short tutorial on the YouTube channel. My name is Twin Plays, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a code GUI system uh, for your cafe game. Um, now, you actually can use this for any game. It's up to you. But um, this is going off of the cafe system, so I want you guys to know that um, you got to make sure you have the same things and you've watched the past few videos um, just because... Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of people asking me, you know, how how do we do this? How do we use it? Um, and me and Tigo uh, just want to make sure that everything's going good and you guys are getting the right assets. Now, I know that Roblox has actually been taking down some of the assets that I'm uploading. I don't know why. I think it's their new moderation setting. So, like, I'm going to do a video on the calf register and all these things. And you guys probably won't be able to get it unless you go to my Google Drive file. Um, so, I'm sorry about that, you guys. It's just a little inconvenience. But I'm going to show you how to get into this. Now, first things first, um, I just want to say that this wouldn't have been made without Tigo. So, you know, go check out his uh, profile, click on the follow, and talk to him in the Discord because he is available and um, he's helping us make this entire system. So that's just awesome, you guys, once again. Um, but yeah, like I said, all the links are in the description. Now, I recommend joining the Discord. Reason being is we have a separate channel in there that has all the models and it has all the documentation and everything in there. So you, if you want to just have Discord on the side, you can do that. Now, um, like I said, you have to make sure you're having you're watching these videos thoroughly, just because each thing is a little different. Um, but if you know what you're doing and you just import things into the right places, you're all good. So um, going off of this first one, it looks like this one they didn't take down. I don't know why they're taking down some of them. But um, it's just their new moderation thing. So you should be able to get this one and hit try in studio or download, whatever's easier for you. Um, now, if this does get taken down, please tell me. Either way, like I said, we have it in Discord, but make sure to let me know because I will get that file up and loaded. Um, now, if you do get the file, you can just go to the model tab and go to model right here and import it. Now, if you do want to, you could actually, if you do hit like, you know, get inventory, you go to your toolbox and my models and you should just be able to import it. So today we're going to be talking about the code system and then the next one's going to be the register that everyone's been waiting for. And then we have the settings. Um, I have a lot of videos coming guys and um, all of this wouldn't be done once again, like I said, for Tigo. Uh, so awesome. <laughs> um, now your game should kind of have something like this. These were the last two things. Um, there are more things in here you guys can kind of have, um, but we have these scripts right here and we have a, like just a lot of like certain things in here. And I want to make sure you guys kind of have it. Um, but inside here, now there's a readme, okay? So this will have a thing, um, and like you said, you need to make sure you put this into the existing folders into your game. So replicated storage.assets. So we have this one right here. It's going to be code sounds. So we do have an asset folder. If you don't have an asset folder, and like I was saying, you guys want to just make a code to UI, um, you can also configure the scripts, but if it's easier for you, just right click this and click folder and make something called assets and then just put that in there for you. This is actually really good to just do as a practice for game development is just, you know, having folders and organizing things. Um, but this one's going to be putting in modules. Now, I want you to keep no, okay? So we do have data store too, so this one's okay. Tween animations, we're going to put this in here because it looks like he added it in animations. Um, and then code module, you're going to put that in here because there is a code module. And then I want you to double check. So there is an asset config. Now, um, I'm pretty sure he actually double checked. He changed a few things. So I want you guys to, uh, you know, make sure that you uh, take a look at these things because some things might be different. So as you can tell, this is different from the old one. Um, and I'm actually pretty sure it's because we fixed the uh, problem where uh, the mop was actually giving you a certain amount of things. So, uh, oh yeah, and talking about that, if you did get the mop in the last video, you're going to have to update your asset config to this right here and then one of the scripts. Um, I did re-upload that file and it is in the Discord, so just go check that out. Um, but yeah, so like I said, honestly, just put this in here, delete the other one. Um, but you'll make sure that you change all the Game Pass IDs. So we have Game Pass IDs, we have the multiply, uh, multipliers, um, we have dev products, which we'll get into later. And, um, you know, these are just uh, teams and ranks, uh, which we talked about a while ago. Um, and yeah, so that's, uh, that's basically asset config. So uh, once we do that, um, oh yeah, so we have a few more things, um, remotes. So we're going to put this remote, it's a code event. So we're going to drag that into there. We have the script. So this is a leader stats. Now, um, I'm pretty sure we're actually supposed to, uh, switch these out because as you can tell, you can't, you can't have two of the same thing. So that's one thing I did want to mention to you guys is they are a little different. Um, I think it might reset your data. I don't know. Um, 
I mean, as we're building this, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff going on. But I'm going to explain these uh, step by step. But, uh, yes, yeah, so you're going to have to delete the old one and get the new one in just because this handles a lot of more things like the codes. Um, so I don't think we'll be updating this anymore. And this is also for the ordering system and other things in general. Um, I forgot to mention we have a rating system. So that's really cool. Um, uh, there's It's honestly just awesome to look at this because we did a lot. Um and then let's see, top bar UG wise. Okay, so we're gonna put that in top bar. And then this is gonna go in starter player scripts. Now we'll probably talk about that in a sec here. Now, um, me and Tigo, well, Tigo's honestly making everything, like I said. He's making two options for you guys. We're gonna have a sidebar, so you can have a UIs on the side, like little buttons. And then we're also going to do a top bar GUI. Um, reason being is people might want one or the other. Um, and I'll kind of explain that to you in a bit here, but it should already work. So I'm just going to practice. I mean, just test it out and double check. Um, oh, top bar handler. Okay. So that is one thing we missed. So I will go and make sure that is in the file real quick. Okay. Quickly grab that. So it's actually here now in replicate storage, top bar handler. So it was actually just a folder. So you're just going to drag that into your replicate storage. It's the icon, of course. Um, so this is a big top bar thing. Um, but yeah, so let's try that out one more time. Hope there's not nothing else we're missing. Okay, so um, as you can tell, I guess we actually probably already had that. So that's why I was missing it. But just making sure you guys have that. Um, you have the Boba Bucks. You have your points. We were talking about that. And then this is the extra. So um, we'll probably just, you can name this UI, which I'll talk about. Super easy to do. But if you click codes, so it's going to pop up right here. Now, um, there's a submit button has some sounds, there's hover sound effects, and then there's something in here. Now, I actually didn't double check. Let me just double check. Well, I mean, okay, let's just go like this. So, invalid code, okay? You hear it says invalid code. Um, and then I know Tigo had a few uh, codes we used. Uh, let me just see if I can get it real quick because I honestly don't remember. Uh, give me one second. I just want to make sure so we don't forget. Give me one second. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get this to work. Exclusive one. Perfect. Okay, so code redeemed successfully, and we have added points and I think bucks as well. I mean, if you do like free coins, one, it looks like it was a code as well. Give you boba bucks, and it updates. So you close that, no worries, and you are good. So that kind of explains how this works. Now, um, I don't have my teams right here. Sorry, you guys. I know it doesn't really look like that for you. You should have teams. Um, if you haven't done that, go check out the other videos. Kind of talked about it. Um, and in the end, I wanted to mention that we are doing a full kit. Um, so, yeah. Um, and sorry, this is not very much a shorter tutorial. But <laughs> I'm going to go and explain everything through here for you because some of you may not understand it. Um, now, Codes UI. This one is the – this should be the handler for – yeah, this is the top bar. So, the Codes frame. So, if you just click Visible – You'll be able to see this. You can customize it however you'd like. It's up to you. Um, and then this is the code handler. So in here, we have a few functions. Uh, looks like uh, reset UI, play sound, um, visibility button, submit. So uh, just we're you know submitting the button, processing, uh, server timeout. And yeah, so this is where we handle the, uh, the, like, the tweening and everything for that. So just kind of handling this itself. Um, now... Like I said, customize this however you'd like. You can go into here. It's super easy to do, by the way. Um, so I recommend just, you know, messing around with it. Now, um, top bar, we're kind of going over this. Uh, remember, we have the Boba Bucks and the points. Um, so you should already have that. Oh, yeah, and I totally forgot. Um, icon Handler, you're probably going to have to replace your other one. So make sure to replace it. Um, it won't change anything unless you have something special. Um, but like I said right here, so it's going to say extra. You can, you know, you can change this to, you know, UI. Um, uh, or like GUIs, whatever's easier for you. Um, so feel free to mess around with that. Now, going into the real like nitty stuff of it, which we'll go and talk about this in a sec. I think modules in here. Um, there's, I don't know, configurations. I think there's retries on uh, these are save times. Da -da -da, blah, 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 redeemed codes. So yeah, so we added a redeemed code, it looks like. Um, so that kind of talks about uh, what codes have been used. Um, so it does save, it does check that, um, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this is a whole data store script, so you know, kind of don't really worry about that. But he uses data store two, which uh, there's a lot of tutorials that kind of talk about data store two. I recommend you go check it out. But code module, so this is the big thing. Um, this model handles all of the codes in the game. 
uh, functions of validate codes on expiry time, uh, how many times they can uh, redeem it, it looks like. And um, yeah, it's data store too. So it uh, kind of explains it. Um, codes are stored in codes module dot codes with the formats. So um, code name, reward, expiry, and max uses. So um, yeah, I will kind of talk about this real quick. So this is the functions that kind of handles all of the yeah, redemption. So we double check all of that. We have the uh, valid code, validate and validation. Um, so kind of going through here, um, you can kind of just read the code yourself, whatever is easier for you. Um, but this is the configuration right here. So uh, like I said, we were just using those codes. Um, so we have Boba Bucks, we have points, um, just Boba Bucks, just points. Then we have the expiration dates, and then we have the max uses. So I recommend that you only, you know, uh, you only do it like only one max use. I mean, it depends what you want to do. Um, but yeah, so making a new one is very simple. So if you want to just go down here and you just paste it, right? But you need to make sure you add a comma at the end, okay? So make sure you're doing that. And then you got to change the names, of course. So, you know, let's just say video, whatever. Certain amount of points. Uh, yeah, I want, I want like, give you 15 points, let's say. Um, or I want to give you, uh, you know, 100 Boba Bucks. Now, points and Boba Bucks are what we named ours. So, if you don't have that, you're going to have to make sure you, uh, you know, check check what your name of your thing is. Because ours is named Boba Bucks. If you go to the leader stats um, and everything in here, like that's that's just what we have as the thing. So Boba Bucks points. So you can kind of customize that to like cash. If you want to just put cash, put cash. Like I said, if you need a, this is for not a cafe, same thing. It goes here. Um, and then there's the expiration date. So um, I don't know if he talks about it. Yeah, so days, month, and year. So uh, oh yeah, right here, perfect. Um, I recommend just, honestly, you can do expiration dates. You don't really need it. Um, if you need one, just put it up there, um, and it will always double check. And then if you want to just get rid of the codes after a minute, just go through here and just delete them. Um, but yeah, and then you have max uses, so I would just do one. I don't recommend doing more than one just because why would you have codes that are more than one? Um, and yeah, so that's kind of it, you guys. Um this is the expiration date function. This is the module. So the only thing really you have to worry about is this codes module. And then, yeah, if you want to customize your UI, feel free to go in here and, um, you know, mess around with this. Um, I, I uh, You should be able to customize it very easily, whether you go to the background color and, you know, um, oh, it looks like that's not the one. Uh, yeah, like right here, you go to here. You know, you can, you can mess around and do things. Uh, it's up to you, you guys. You know, however you want to make it look, you go ahead and do that. And you can move things around as well. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, but yeah, well, this is using a text box, um, which we always use for codes or something the player watches to search is a text box. Um, but yeah, and then when you're done, make sure you just turn this visible off. You're good to close that out. And that that's it, you guys. Um, I hope you did enjoy this little short tutorial. And I'm sorry, it was a little, a little longer than I would expect. But this next one, you guys are going to get to love and um yeah i hope you guys kind of understand that i'm sorry i was trying to make it as, as easy as i can to uh you know go that for you but just focus on that code module and um everything should be good for you guys and then also double check if you do have issues with your data store system uh, i recommend watching my video that talks about the data store or uh, data delve it's a free plugin that you can use to uh, edit your data store and get rid of those people's values and you know kind of reset it i guess but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.